So your doctor said that you have an arrhythmia and that you need an ablation. Now, what does that mean and what is it to expect when you are going for an ablation? Well, let's talk about that for a little bit. Depending on what kind of arrhythmia you have uh, and in what chamber that arrhythmia is coming from, this is the chamber of the heart where we have to go in, put our catheters there, map the arrhythmia and try to get rid of it. Well, let's look at the heart. If we look at the heart, say this is the upper chamber of the heart here, and these are the lower chamber of the heart here. This is the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. There are different kinds of arrhythmias by mechanism. And you have arrhythmias that come from a single point that dis decide to start shooting electricity very quickly. And there are arrhythmias that actually are reentrant arrhythmia. It's actually a circuit inside the heart that spins around and gives you a very fast heartbeat. Depending on what kind of arrhythmia it is, then we have to go in, we have to induce the arrhythmia, we have to map it, we have to see where is this, the part of the circuit that is the most likely for us to get rid of it, and this is where the place we do the ablation. So if you have uh, a spot inside the heart that decides to fire electricity, and that would be a focal arrhythmia, or if you have an extra connection, say, between the upper and the lower chamber of the heart, right over here, for example, whereby now the electrical impulse goes down to the lower chamber, up that accessory pathway, down the lower chamber, and spins around, giving you a fast heartbeat. What we do, essentially, is we go in with putting catheters, usually from the groin, and those catheters go, if we're going into the veins in the groin, to the right upper chamber of the heart, and what we do is we are in control of your heartbeat. So we can make it go fast, we can make it go slow. We do what we call program stimulation, meaning that we stimulate the heart to try to induce the arrhythmia. We have to see it so that we can map it. When we map it, we move the catheter so that we can record the electrical activity inside the heart so that we can see where that circuit is and we can see where that electrical activity coming from. And once we see where it's coming from by mapping the electrical activity, we take the catheter, put it over that area here or over that extra connection that you have, and we deliver a radiofrequency current that heats up the tissue where the tip of the catheter is, and that can actually damage the heart muscle where uh, that uh, abnormal tissue is and kill it. Therefore transecting the circuit so that now you cannot have a circuit and no arrhythmia, or destroying that area where that impulse is coming from, that abnormal impulse is coming from, and therefore also getting rid of the arrhythmia.